But I got Seth the Merchant. Art, who's your uh, who's your guy? It's Tucker Dega, buddy. So Tucker Minner. Good Minner. I was gonna say, man, can't remember a conversation from five minutes ago, but yeah, neither can I. <laughs> Thirty-eight it's... laps on deck. We'll see if it's quicker or not. Race number one had, I think, six or seven cautions. Did the stream just restart? Uh, no, but we're getting a bout of this patchy internet here. Oh no, it did. That's tragic. You can call it race one of one, race one of two, and then two of two. So there you go. Um, but yeah, we're dealing with, uh, you know, we're just lucky to have internet at this point. But it eventually woke up in race number one, so I imagine we'll be good here at some point. You get out of that god awful state. <laughs> Here we go for race number two. A lot of hungry drivers trying to get into the playoffs. And this race will determine it. And it's underway right now. You're saying, big question, can we make it through lap one? Already three wide. There's Michael Cozy Jr. There's Bobby Zielinski. Ooh, there's Jay Riot. We almost didn't make it through turn one. <laughs> Here we go. The leader of the first race got turned off turn number two. Looks like we'll be A-OK. -okay. At least for a couple extra hundred feet. But already three by three. We're five on back. Six maybe, but... Just like the first race, very aggressive, right off the rip. And we do have Michael Gould. He did start from Pit Road, so we got a 37 car field here tonight. Very rare, but double header night. Good to oh, see we're that. already four wide. <laughs> yeah, we are. Chris Hill, Bobby Zielinski, David Barrows, and Hunter East four wide. Now Jay Riot, Minter, the Merchant. Having a good old time as lap one was led by, I believe, Tyler Gary. But Ryan Miniker dryling. So he thought race one was crazy. Race two's the uh, do or die. They're still four. The four wide They're for a whole lap. Four. So they, they, they know they can do it. They just choose not to sometimes. But look at this mess. Tyler Gary going to make it three wide for the race lead. Lap number two. Give it to Dryling. Doing exactly what he needs to do. So he's got his bonus point. Now he just needs the best possible finish. And try to avoid any penalties that could ding you on points. Four wide for about eighth on back. Are Parker we White doing? Swirly. Great save from the 95. We're so accustomed to that. Every single driver, minus the driver of Michael Gould, that started from the road, 1.5 sec or 2.5, excuse me, 2.5 seconds from first to 36. I'm still waiting for them to clear up this four wide situation. This will be over in about 30 minutes. Bear with us. We're going green to green. We're going flag to flag here. They're on it. That's obviously not happening. They got cars below the apron, but. Much better start for race two than race one. They learned a little something. They how many over. Don Hayes? How many Don Hayes to show up more often? Man, is in a Scooby Doo paint scheme. That's that's pretty nice. That's elite. And he's got rocking Ricky Stenhouse's number. He's got his number loaded. It's not the right one, but you know you have that sometimes. You have a number. Big move there from Hill to the bottom. Gary going down the cover. Walkingham up top with Doucette. Big shot into the back of Doucette. Rod Flag into the wall, down to Cozy. Scott Warren, evasive action. Big move from Falkingham. Gary up top in front of Minner gets slammed, nearly loses it. We're still green somehow. Some of the best five laps racing I've ever seen.
top line, losing all momentum. Yeah, they beat the heck out of each other. Nearly wrecked six different times in the trioval. In about 12 seconds, they'll be back ready to go. There goes Falkingham and Doucette. Oh, there's there the checkup. There it goes. And... It's actually, well, depending on where Barrows comes back. Yeah, bat. Bat, yeah, it was bad at the back. But could have been it wasn't so even, much worse. Uh, it wasn't even that bad. Like, holy. And exhale on It, it could have been Whew. everybody. Looks like we've got the uh, connection stabilized for the time being, so a okay. So we'll go back and show you everything that just happened. All right, let's go. Whew, that was insane. And they just overstepped it just a little bit. Oddly enough, uh, first caution of the night in both races involves Parker White. But uh, Zelensky hung out to dry, dropping back. 14, shoving the 95. Big hit. And it's just a little bit too much, and there they go. And Stoff probably gets the worst of that. I hate to see it for the rookie, but. Mm. Jacob Roth into it. A little bit unlucky, but maybe break could have been applied a second or two earlier. There are a couple of these guys in the back, probably, yeah. The track blocked at the end there, but what are you going to do? They will be fine to continue on, everybody involved, so. Wanted to stay out and get his lap led. Dylan Dryling said no, thank you. Potentially trying to deny his competitors that bonus point. That the merchant being one of them. See, that that's where the asterisk is going to come in. I was going to be like, you took my bonus point away. <laughs> Don't think he'll, uh, he'll care that much. See, but I care that much. <laughs> Still hurts. It does. I don't, I don't care that it's been well over a year. It's my chance at greatness. Hmm. 100 feet from the finish line, if that. And you Christopher B. Williams is the enemy. Was it 2022? It might have been. I don't remember. Was it really? It's been a Man. while. All right, I, I've, I've held on to it for a long time. He, I mean, he won the darn thing, so I feel like he'd know. Um, <laughs> that's good. Man, I did, it's been a while then. Holy smokes. Let me go ahead and make that adjustment then. Sorry about that. You're still the winner, though. No one can take that away from you. I'll argue about it, though. You didn't even cross the line second, though. Like, you just... I don't care. Like, you're not even in the conversation. I'm just, I'm just mad about how it ended, all right? He's bitter. I got wrecked. Top three will come in. That'll give the lead to Falkingham. Already on lap eight, so 30 laps to go when we go back green. So we are Max, on... you'd be in my same position if it wasn't oh, for... Oh, I'd be livid, but... You know. I'm talking about your one race win. <laughs> I still got it, though. I got a winner's... <laughs> I mean, a win's a win. You asked the question, how do you beat 31 other guys? Have Andrew Cootie record? Listen, I got the 30 bucks, okay? 
no one will ever take that win away. It is forever on the website and the Discord and my role. Like I, I am a Rod Carr winner. No, <laughs> you're literally not a winner. So I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm a winner in spirit. Corbin has had a couple chances to win. You've had a couple chances to win, but you couldn't finish the deal. I was wrecked. I also am a two-time moon car winner. No. <laughs> you just... <laughs> I, just... <laughs> I don't respect your wins. There's no competition. Okay. You were racing plumbers. <laughs> <laughs> Might I direct your attention to... Uh... <laughs> Where's he at? He's in 35th, but... Literally the best oval eye racer on the service, Parker White. <laughs> was he in that race? Oh, 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 oh! What in the <laughs> world? <laughs> what is that was. I mean, he's locked in, he's chilling, but oh man. Problems. <laughs> Alright. Race two, we're about to. We're in for a treat the rest of the way already. The way this race started and what I've seen, like, we're in for Treat. Uh, before this goes great, he was not champion when he won that race, so. Okay. He might not even have been, been in the Coke series at that point. Not a real win. Whatever. <laughs> Don't let me pull out the no rod car win thing again. I will pull that meme back out. A dumb picture. I'll pull it right back out. I'll just post it weekly. Back underway. And did Cozy, real quick, did Cozy actually get to the... I thought it was Falkingham, but it was actually Cozy. So, at a bare minimum, Cozy did lead that lap and gets a big bonus point. It should have been Falkingham's, but... You know what? Hmm. Already three wide. Love to see it. It's not four wide. It could be better. <laughs> Make it five. Get on the apron. I gotta pump those numbers out. Those are rookie numbers. It said, don't give Michael Cozy Jr. a chance at a one race. Like, gotta lock in, gotta win it. Get him in a playoff situation and... More often than not, come out on top. The eight-time champion. It's an insane fact. <laughs> Move over, Jimmy Johnson. Dale Earnhardt is in no, no longer your equal. It's not another seven-time champion. He's our first eight-time champion. Witnessing Wayne Gretzky level of greatness here. Bill and Kev needs a big race to get in. Hunter East needs a big race to get in. Scott Warren put himself in a decent position, but he is the bubble driver. Can't afford any penalties. Of course, those are done after the fact, so we ought to go back and look at everything that went on over the course of two races tonight, and there was a lot of chippiness in that first race. I don't think a whole lot of it was necessarily on these playoff potential drivers, but you know, I'm sure there's something that happened. Will affect it one day or another. And just three drivers hanging out at the back. Your pole sitter is one of them, Dalton Haynes, and 15 Ryan Oates. But other than that, 34 drivers in anger separated by 1.7 seconds. Ooh, a little bit quick contact in the middle of the field there through the corner. Here's uh, what 34th right. looks like. One and a half seconds behind the first place on board with DJ Smith. Just hanging Ooh. out. Ooh. Hold on. Was that a swipe there from Bobby Zelensky? Uh, you, you might want to go look at Bobby Zelensky out of the tribal. Yeah, maybe not. But like. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we're wrecking. We, we jump back to the live and we're wrecking. Right in front what? of Zelensky. What a cut! What a cut! What a cutscene! I, I click jump back to live, and they're wrecking directly in front of them. That's hilarious. And this.
this happens. Just a handful of cars in front of them. Does it look like Nathan Barrows? Oh, somebody. Big troubles. Let's see what happens here. Big. So full head of steam from the 5 and the 98. Big. Oh, wait. has nothing to do with that. It's our boy Jacob Roth. Is it a big checkup in the... Oh, Jacob Roth. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, gonna slow it down. Here comes the 11 of Christopher M. Hill. Big shunt. But that's fine into the back of the 83. And then finished off by the 11 into the 97. He was into the 98. And then it is off from there. Oh, and Milano is killed there at the bottom. Literally, you're so solid. And then that little hit right there, bam. Fast repair, gone. And then AJ Green for company. Just like happens just that quick. Drew Drouat, looks like he snaked through the middle. Marker oh. and McConey set up shop. <laughs> that was a very good... Uh, as close as it gets there, you see that coming back up the racetrack, and it's just a hold your breath moment there. But Lano gonna have to tow and burn the fast repair. Scott Warren on the bubble, crucial bonus point secured. Now his job, very simple, got the bonus point. Get the best possible finish that you can. <laughs> Rock showing his displeasure again because he's got his this is the second time his lap uh, yeah. lead bonus has been stolen. A James Mendez quote spinning like a top again. Let's go look at it. It'll be, it'll be funny. Right in the middle. Uh, yeah, I don't know. obviously trying to miss the car in front of you and your body check Chris Hill. That's not your fault though. Not your fault. I understand the evasive maneuvers Kevin Spencer and then, he, and then he comes back and finishes the job. So, <laughs> so so all's fair in love and war, I guess. He comes down and <laughs> again what he did wasn't intentional, but <laughs> that's a, that's a fun sequence. <laughs> Oh, man. Let's bring up the points again, just to show you what they entered into tonight. So go ahead and give Cozy a bonus point, uh, Scott Warren a bonus point, Dylan Dryling a bonus point, and then so on and so forth. Best of the rest race... Uh, Joe Swanson not here for either of these races. He actually opted out of the playoffs. He was in the top 15, but his spot was given to the next man in line. Um, but DJ Smith was here for the first race and now here for the second. So he's looking for best of the rest. Rod Flag also in that conversation. Corey Henry right there, Jaden Carter, Roth, Clavitt, the Green, all, you know, big night. So let's just show you everybody, all your favorite drivers that have earned rod car points. We do keep track all the way down to 68th. And Darren Stoff. Yeah, we didn't uh, we didn't update everybody because that's a we just updated the top fifteen. My apologies, we didn't have time to do everybody. So top fifteen I mean, are updated. Um, yeah. yeah, if you want your points, you should have you know made top fifteen. <laughs> that's so rude. 
Yeah, but everybody will be nice and updated for next week. Everything will be uh, be be nice and handy. Um, I make us care about back markers. <laughs> nice. Backmarkershop.com. Not sponsored. Not an ad. Not anymore. Hey, hey Mickey. All right, back here for the restart. Already uh, 24 laps to go. We're at a blistering pace. I got wrecked and went to Bristol. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> One through five points don't matter. Yeah, I know. I just, I just did them just to do it. They were there, so. But here we go, everybody. Running, Milano was able to tow, get the fast repairs one lap down. Definitely still in it. Because your junior back here for the restart. 23 laps to go. It's actually Tyler Gary with Dryling. Get the jump on the outside line. A dryling, a dryling win, a Dylan dryling win would feed. That would just be, uh, that'd be, that'd be a popular win. Oh, we're already oh, wrecking. Oh, big problems for Jacob Dunn. Travis Brown, Zelinski around in the back. After they did so well on the opening run. Cautions, breeding, cautions. <laughs> Moonhead in chat, in race chat already. That was my fault. <laughs> like third caution of the evening, and uh, we got the man that owned up to it. So here we go. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it was not pretty. He got him. He turned. Oh, he turned him. It's all right. He turned him. Yeah, he definitely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's really no question. <laughs> He just got yeah, a little bit in the right rear. Just a, just a hair. Got a nice run. <laughs> just mistimed it. Poor Jacob Dunn. Just an innocent passenger. And that was it. Christopher Hill caught up in it. You see there, just... He gets a good run. He just tags him, misjudges it back up the hill. Ooh, if, you're, if you're Jacob Roth, right there at the end, though, that's that's not great. Can't be uh, thrilled with that. On board. <laughs> this will show you everything we need to see. Oof. Do you remember that Martinsville race for LSRL a while back? Yeah. It's, it's looking like that one. I can uh, almost count the pixels on the screen. Darn it. Yeah. Yeah, our, our bit rate is like... Oh, I know. It's not having a good time. I'm aware. Pixel. We got nailed with a hurricane, but they're doing the best we can. Yeah, don't live in a hurricane. Like, don't live where <laughs> hurricanes are. Okay. Well. Please. Yeah. Sell your house. Get a Gary. I just bought one. Yeah, sell it. No. Yeah. Got a Gary Weaver lamp led in what I think is his fifth career start here tonight. You start taking up donations so you can sell the house already. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Spent a lot of money on that side. Don't care. Just up front. It's very sad. Don't care. It's gonna hit by a hurricane. <laughs> Yeah, but right now look at the look at the top five. You got Gary, Cozy, Dryling, Demerchant, all wild card drivers looking good. Kem, Perry need a big night. <laughs> See? <laughs> M2's got it for me. Nintendo 64 graphics are still in. I disagree. No, there it's a it's a it's a the aesthetic. It's a vibe. Disagree. Alright, bit rates back above three thousand. Let's go! Rod Cargo fund me for broadcast subs. Ooh. <laughs> Listen, I was a game time decision and I made it. 
That's the problem. Listen, Bucko. It shouldn't be shouldn't be questionable. <sighs> it's a it's a hamstring injury. It just doesn't go away. Okay, McCaffrey. That, that's an Achilles thing. That's a whole different story. I'm three that's and one in to... my I'm three and one in my work pool, by the way, and I picked him first overall. It just means that I know ball. What are you in the YJ one? Uh not great. Not great. We'll talk about it. No, I really don't. It's actually very upsetting. It's Brent Key season one and three. Yeah, at least Brent Key in real life's got a above five hundred record. Listen, we're oh. eight and a half point favorites <laughs> versus an undefeated Duke. That's just so wildly disrespectful. They'll probably be mad and have bulletin board material, and we didn't even do anything, and they'll beat us by thirty. Wink Murphy coming for y'all. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I love the mind. Oh, we've talked Jordan about- charged me time and a half. Man. Oh no! Can we do that? No. <laughs> like, we have to. We have to make up listen, for you missing. Listen, 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 right. listen, listen. We're gonna do it on a Travis to my first child to TBD. <laughs> we'll do it on a caution counter. If we get double digit cautions, we'll just it'll be a flat like just automatic increase. Or you just have the drivers like. If the drivers cause a certain amount of wrecks or time limit, they will be charged. The drivers themselves will be charged. Yes. We will deduct from the winnings. <laughs> Every caution's a dollar off the pot. <laughs> <laughs> we see races clean up real fast. My racing super speedway wouldn't have a pot left. Oh, good stuff. So 19 laps to go on the restart. Uh, see, that's not my fault. Now it's 100 to 100. We've stabilized. We've stabilized. It's what fine. Start acting funny and the bots want to show up in chat. Hmm. Successful dumping. Band. Yeah. A great name. Band. Shane O'Bot got that. It was probably a person at one point. Maybe. Don't click the suspicious links. Don't do it. Man, you could have said that we could have transitioned that to like the Starforge link, but no. I we haven't set it up. I. <laughs> yeah. Announcement coming soon. Maybe. I don't know. Soon. Maybe next Friday. We'll just be like, hey, we have a Starforge partnership. I'll announce it next year. It'll be the <laughs> top of my list for 2025. Stop it. It's not even there's, me. Like, look, I got, I, got, I, got, I got the perfect quality and latency. Just know that that's not even me. It's not me. It's your fault. Shut up. It's your fault. Shut up. It's your fault. Enjoy for the rest of the broadcast. Here we go. Tyler Gary. Cozy Jr. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, already hitting each other before we even get going. All 37 drivers still running and on the lead lap. Very impressive. 20 laps in, almost. Didn't do it in race number one. So much to catch up on and talk about. But race number two, let's crank it up for the first time here tonight, live on YJ Media. Oh, we're wrecking. Just hold on a second. Oh, my goodness. Big wreck in the back. They're like, hmm. We are not We're not cranking it up. Turn that volume button right back down. All right, here we go. Where does this start? Nice little oh, hip check. Oh, right there at the end. Um. So it looks like a solid checkup again in the outside lane. Yeah, Hill tries to avoid it, clips him in the right rear, down into Corey Henry, back up the racetrack. And once you come back up the racetrack, it is ball game, curtains, lights out. Thanks for coming. Henry back up, Scott Warren, Doucette, Moperi, Milano. Parker White, DJ Smith, Dylan Dryling. Did he have another near miss? 
What does it sound like in chat? I think you can call yourself the goat. Mm, good save. Good save. Let's take a look here at Scott Orn, the bubble driver. Cutoff man. Does he get... I don't think so. It is oh so close. Oh, I mean it's I don't know, I think he got saved by netcode, but I think he'll be alright. Likely ban a Vader? What? <laughs> Another bot in chat, probably the alt of the, uh, the last one. What was the original message? I didn't even see it. Was it just the... Best like... viewers? Oh, yeah. Incredible work. <laughs> um, so we'll try to crank it up. Uh, on the restart for the first time tonight. Hopefully they, they will allow us. Allow us to do our job. <laughs> Looks like we'll have 15 laps to go on the restart. Get down to the nitty gritty. Perry going to need a, a lot of help here in the last 15 laps. The ticker just scrolls by. We'll see who's in good shape, who's not. Hunter East, not looking great at the moment, but he is out back on track. Hill doing exactly what he needs to do. Winning the race will get him locked in. I still have big faith in Tucker Nega. <laughs> Can he go five for six? And here we go, getting ready to crank it up, hopefully. 
the first time tonight. 15 laps to go. Tensity about to ramp up. All 37 cars still running. 36 on the lead lap. Milano only one lap down. Definitely still in it. We're back underway. Jacob Dunn did not get a great start. And in third, they managed it well. That'll hurt Chris Hill. And Corey Henry will sail to the lead as we'll crank it up here for the first time tonight live on YJ Media. Brown definitely involved, but did not start it. Uh, big checkup as a result of right here. We could see it. It's all it really. It's a direct result. This caution it directly affects each car in line. Barry Tiller, Corey Henry, Michael Gould getting out of shape. That directly impacts this. Check up with the Merchant. Check up with Jay Riot, Ryan Oates. Check up, Zelinsky. Check up, Doucette. Checked up. Mendez finally gets into the back of Doucette and sends him around. Kind of surprised that brought the caution out, honestly. But it was probably that that triggered it. Actually, him rolling back up the track. Brakes were locked, but I'm just slow a car down. That's that out of control. So this will get Stop. us to about 10 laps to go. Fuel should not be a question at this point. You know, see, it doesn't feel as bad as the first race, though, so that's nice. No. Light should go off the pace car next time by 11, so 10 laps to go on the restart. Cozy Jr. in position to punch his ticket to the next round. Did a very good job of the first race of just getting solid points, but put the exclamation point on it by winning the second one.
let's see here. After all of that, still all 37 cars on the lead lap. Very impressive. I should go out this time, but pace laps tell that you're just brutal, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't help that it is, what, the second longest track we go to? <laughs> is it Coda technically longer now since they added that? I think it is. I was talking about it for us oh. with, you know, iRacing Super Speedway. Yeah. Let me up the uh, pace speed. Let us set up custom pace speeds, iRacing. <laughs> Trying to have them go 150 around the pacing. Ten laps to go. Blue names trying to race their way into the playoffs. Gold names already locked in. Everybody else just racing for the win. Dylan Dryling doing exactly what he needs to do. He let a lap. To show you the points and what, uh, real quickly... Won't, most likely won't be the final restart, but top five all locked in anyways, doesn't matter. Merchant, Cozy, Hill putting themselves in good positions. Tyler Gary actually in danger. He's all the way at the back of the pack. Scott Warren had a bonus point. Jay Wright had an east. Dylan Dryling, Dylan Kemp, and Mo Perry trying to race their way in, steal some spots here late. Cozy, Warren, Dryling, you feel pretty good. Especially Tyler Gary, the big one. He came in in ninth, and he is down dead last, 37th. How many cautions do you think we can get in in this 10-lap period? Two. We'll get two. <laughs> but here we go. Cozy, Warren, your front row. Dryling, flag, row number two. Barrows rounds out your top five. Back to the Geico restart zone. We're back underweight. Waiting for that checkup. They were getting kind of antsy there to start. Oh, they're already just all Beating over the place. And banging nearly didn't make it 100 yards. But we're three wide. Ten laps to go. Oh, that's going to be Harry Tiller on the outside wall. There are more of them. That's a big checkup. Yeah. Moonhead gets railed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. Like, that's just, like, there's a lot wrong with me. But, like, oh, I mean, he did. No. He just took it. <laughs> oh. He had nowhere to go. He stay green. He'll need a caution to get back in it. Coming to nine laps to go. 99, 83, pulling away from the field real quickly. Let's just go look. Uh, what happened to Mr. Travis Brown that made you just ex <laughs> just lose your mind? I, we were all dying. Oh, oh my goodness. I mean, you're not wrong, but like... <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh, uh, they got the they wall. They were just in, like, yeah. Like, the guys in the wall, Jacob Roth. They, just, they all just run each other to the wall, and then Milano just, you know. Hmm. <laughs> That's just wild. I didn't think Lee Diffie would be saying that. <laughs> I'm not Lee Diffie, brother. Clearly. Oh, trouble! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> we come from entirely different parts uh, of the world, all right? Listen, I'm very good at Lee, calling Lee Diffie, out. Lee Diffie is sophisticated. I am. <laughs> Listen, I'm just, I'm very good at calling out a wreck. I, like, they all got their own thing. I just, I get very <laughs> excited when I see Carnage. Like, you can make a compilation of me, just, like, whatever something happens. I'm just, I'm in it. I think I say, like, the same thing every time there's a wreck. Mine changes every time, too. There's nothing specific. I say problems, trouble, or I just yell. There's just nothing, like, I'm not tied I'm to just anyone. Just yelling. Inco Screaming. Incoherent screeching. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. Break this 
There's your first of two, by the way. <laughs> All right. Looks, does it... Ah, Dryling gets shipped, but from who? Where'd he end up in all of this? He ended up 7th. So he's actually... Well, he got a little bit of right rear damage there. He's gonna get shipped from Tucker Minner, it looks like. Yep. A little bit of right rear damage there, but otherwise be okay. And then ap after that point, it's uh, all bets are off. Falkingham in front of the field, down into Nathan Barrows. Tucker Minner just... Nowhere to go. And then so on and so forth. Aaron Stoff involved. Drew Jawah. Can't avoid a third one. Looks like that's Hunter East. So on and so forth. Odd flag in the mix. It's barely a bit. Oh my goodness. I mean. Oof. Are we in for a rot flag win? No, you said it. Now it's not going to happen. <laughs> That's over now, bud. Like, it's just not going to happen. Look what you've done! <laughs> you should feel shamed. I feel nothing. Come on, earn it, old man. Uh, what do you? What? Uh. <laughs> See, now that's that's gonna cause problems. You that, that's gonna, what do you mean? It's gonna cause problems for you. Yeah, I wasn't but... saying anything about it. I was. I wasn't doing nothing. I didn't even. I mean. I said he missed the wreck, which was an objective fact. Like, that was... He, he can ban me from joining the session. He can remove me from Rod Man, Cars. They're not even going to be able to watch. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I love... I just... It's just... It's the, it's the art, like, all caps. Why? Like, you, just, you know exactly, like, how that... Like, how that plays out in movies. Like, why? Why would you do... That? Like, you know exactly. Why would you say my name? Uh huh. Quick, let's mention everybody else so they're all back on equal footing. Maybe the race run down. Parker White in first, Christopher Hill second, Michael Cozy Jr. in third, Scott Warren in fourth, Michael Gould in fifth, don't know who's running in sixth, Dylan Dryling in seventh, Jacob Dunn eighth, Dylan Kem ninth, Darren Staff looking for his first ever top ten in his second start. James Mendez, 11th. Ryan Oates in 12th. Mo Perry, 13th. Kevin Spencer, 14th. Harry Tiller, 15th. Your pole sitter. Dean Clavett, that's our boy. Up 16 spots into 16th. AJ Green, 17th. Bobby Zielinski, 18th. Hunter East, 19th. Set the Merchant, 20th. Corey Henry, 21st. Tyler Gary, 22nd. Needs to make some moves. Doucette, 23rd. Gary Weaver, 24th. DJ Smith, 25th. Jacob Roth, 26th. Drew Jawan, 27th. Jaden Carter, 28th. Jay Riot needs a lot of help here in 29th. Dalton Hayes, 30th. Michael P. Frisch, 31st. Zachary Milano, 32nd. Travis Brown, 33rd. Ryan Miniker, 34th. Leaving Pit Road. Tucker Minner, 35th. Nathan Barrows, 36th who's not here, actually. So I think we have our first retirement. And then Daniel Falkingham now moves up to 36th, and Nathan Barrow's 37th, and appears to be out of the race. And that's your running order. Everybody's equally jinxed. Everyone's name has been mentioned. We're all ready to go. See, but it wasn't mentioned by me. I have the real power here. Okay. Just ruin it for somebody. All right.
So here we go, after all of that, coming to five laps to go, can they pull out a miracle and get to the finish under green, or are we going right back to rod car overtime? It's got to be overtime, right? We get one caution, they love it. it's overtime. They're addicted to it. There's no way they go five laps. We're pulling double duty. Why not go overtime. one lap? They haven't they've done it before. Parker White, Chris Hill, your front row. Just the volume and Nathan Barrows did manually disconnect. So 36 cars running, 35 of them on the lead lap. Daniel Falkenham only one lap down. We're back underway. So Scott Warren, Dylan Dryling need good results. You should see uh, Tyler Gary doing everything he can to charge up through the field. Just look for the names in blue on top of your ticker. Oh. There's Dylan <clears throat> Cam. Roth on the outside wall. Dylan Cam below the apron. Barely made it a straightaway. Four wide. Four. For a moment, top two breaking or. They were, but they kind of drug the brake back to the field. They're all bunched up, coming to four laps to go. Big move's going to be made from Jay Riot, Mo Perry, Dylan Kem. Got to have it. Four to go. Parker White leads at the line. Almost stole the first race. Got another driver in the wall. Two drivers in the wall back there. Jay Riot trying to make progress forward. Mo Perry, Kem, gotta have it. Your Hill and Cozy are sitting pretty. Dylan Dryling still might not be enough in six after his first race to Merchant. Just fine in eighth. Scott. Dylan Dryling hit the wall. That's gonna cause check. We're going around. And Rod Car overtime. Big collision. Scott Warren involved. Corey Henry destroyed. Looks like Ryan Oates got a big piece of it. Mo Perry. Oh, no. Bad to worse. And we're headed right back to Rod Carr. Overtime, let's take a look at what happened here. The onboard of Mo Perry. DK makes it through. Mo Perry does not. Ron, that was not my fault. Let's take a look here. Starts right up there, and right here we found is it, is it our boy Dean Clavett. What do we got going on? Here? Pretty sure it starts with Dylan Dryling, does it not? Putting himself in the wall. Yeah, and then well, does he put himself in the wall? He gets real close. I think that's what causes the checkup. Yeah, he does drift up there. I don't think Kevin Spencer was on him, and then Spencer definitely checks up. Doucette checking up. Dean Clavett. Not able to avoid it. Down into Scott Warren. And then, at that point, all bets are off. Where did 76 machine end up at? Yeah, because all of a sudden, let's just watch this. You think you're okay? And then he's just not able to get separated from Drew Jawah. And that's coming back up the track. Big collision for the 3876, spinning like a top. Harry Tiller, your pole sitter. Ryan Oates coming down and oh gets just KO'd there. Who else is involved in all of this? Looks like Gary Weaver. Mendez, Minter, Corey Henry. Grish might have gotten a piece. So, here, another talking point here. First attempt at Ron Carr overtime coming up. Look at the Jaden Carter record wins real quick, actually. This has got something to show us. Let's go take a look. 
Jaden Carter. Oh my goodness. Hang on. Hang on to it. Holy smokes. Well done, sir. Well done. Uh, your number font, number image will be uploaded, uh, updated next week. Um, you got Parker White first, Chris Hill second, Cozy third, Michael Gould fourth, Darren Stoff in sixth, Dryling in eighth, Spencer in ninth. You get four drivers in the top ten that are not Coke Series regulars, not Coke Series drivers at all, <clears throat> and six that are. So you're going, your go. Your Coke drivers are going for the twelve for twelve sweep. We're trying to keep that dominance up. Very good chance of it, the way things currently run. <clears throat> Last race, Ooh. they did it. Uh... <clears throat> they're they're calling him Dean Dahari Clavin. Chad. Oh, that one wasn't even really that bad though. Like that one. I know, but it's funny. Hey. That's just disrespectful. That's really that's that's <laughs> tough. Michigan State's getting blown out by Oregon. UNLV hype train is derailing at Syracuse. <clears throat> None of these things are surprising. Um, so yeah, last race race number one they did it in one attempt can they do the same here scott warren mo perry i bet it's, i bet if unlv paid their quarterback he would have uh they'd be in this game so heartbreak city as it stands for scott warren gonna have to do something incredible to get back in there Suddenly, the, the pendulum's on the other foot. Hunter East is looking okay. Cozy Hill looking solid. So on and so forth. The Merchant in a good spot in 7th. Yeah, 35th, 36th. You can go and write them off. As it stands, with two laps of racing at a minimum remaining. Dryling still looking good. Maybe. It just maybe might be enough. <laughs> Gary's hanging on. Here we go. Pace car is off. First attempt of three at Rod Car Overtime. Everything on the line. Parker White, Chris Hill, your front row. We're back underway. A big jump out front. Surely he's going to the top here. We'll cover off Chris Hill. Michael Gould, the 008. Well, Darren Stock. For the dead last, his second career rod car start inside the top five. Being squirrely at the front already. How does the rookie affect? the playoff hopefuls chances what happens at the end of this thing there goes chris hill big block to the bottom to pick up cozy parker white up top being pushed by the 008 and the rookie of darren stoff working off a of four long way to go and big impact a for jay riot hooks dj smith caution is out we'll re-rack him for attempt number two Grandpa. Jay Riot, one of those playoff hopefuls. Big damage for him. He'll be right at the back for the second restart. Milano having to tow to pit road. Just trying to make moves. They were coming to four. They would have a white flag. You can see it. Pushing super hard. He's trying to split the gap. 
He goes down. Milano's getting pushed the whole way. Hooks him. Milano, Corey Henry, DJ Smith, an innocent bystander. Perry picked up three spots. Got Warren picked up a handful, but still not going to be enough. Need some chaos at the front on the white flag to where they lose all their spots under green, but we'll see. Oh, UNLV is, uh, it's now tied again. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hey, what? What? <laughs> oh, my goodness. College football. I love college football. But it looks like... Oh, because the punt was blocked. Just The Syracuse scenes. punt. That's... So Milano had his engine blown. He towed to pit road again this time. Jacob Roth looks like, I think he disconnected or something due to upload pack loss and came back. So he's, uh, probably resigned to 36, maybe 35th. Nathan Barrows is officially out of the race in 37th. <laughs> and then we'll see what we got going on here for the rest of these guys. Rod has beef with UNLV. University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Honestly, I don't. It's Colin McCord season, so. Shut up. <laughs> it's Haynes King season. No, it's not. Listen, you don't know ball if you don't appreciate Haynes King. I didn't say I don't appreciate Haynes King. It's just not his season. You just don't know. He ball. doesn't get a season. Yeah, he does. He does. It's all the time. <laughs> You're so sad. I just want an above average football team. Twenty-one twenty or thirty-one twenty-eight. How many yards got McCourt throw for in that game? Probably 400. 381. Yeah. Four touchdowns. Four tutties. Four tutties. Actually not that impressive considering how bad our secondary is. Couldn't even put up four mans. <laughs> man's a hater even when losing. Listen, anything to not give them credit. <laughs> oh, I'll give Louisville literally zero credit. They did nothing to win that game. Not a darn thing they did was impressive. I like how, like, if, if you look at y'all's schedule, you have a ranked win against Florida State. Top 10 and win, baby. Top 10 most, win. The most fraudulent win of all time. Man, they got a, They had us feeling so good. They're like, ah, oh, we've arrived. We're ahead of schedule. I'd say Brent Key's terrible, but they just had us feeling some kind of way. Um... But yeah, it'll. They are legitimately um, a one in five team. Clemson is going to take them out behind the shed, and it's not even going to be. It's just, they're one in five objectively. Like, it's unbelievable <laughs> how bad that team is. Anywho, is Texas is one in the natty. Okay. Just how I feel. Bama or Ohio State, we all know it. Nope. Yep. Arch Manning is the second best quarterback in college football. Here. Wow. Wow. I said second best. Wow. You know who's first best? Haynes King. Quinn Dewars. <laughs> <laughs> so Got two we've, best quarterbacks. we've officially lost Nathan Barrows. Zachary Milano. Jacob Roth is now back out, but I believe he is, is he two laps down. Because if he is, it doesn't matter. But I, th I, th I think he's two down. Yeah. Anywho, 34 drivers on the lead lap. That's what we're worried about. 35 running. Mo Perry has to make moves. Jay Ryan has to make moves. Scott Warren has to make moves. Everybody else fighting it out up front.
Yes, it is confirmed. Jacob Roth, two down, so he is resigned to 35th place. So, we have three spots settled. 34 still up for grabs. Second attempt at Rod Carr, overtime. Cozy's feeling good. The Merchant's feeling good. Dryling might feel good. Hunter East needs help, but he's in a decent spot. If you win, you're locked in. Don't forget that. These guys got to go for the win as well if they don't feel comfortable pointing their way in. How are you feeling? I feel like if you're Hunter East, Dylan Dryling, you got to go for the win. His fifth still might not cover it. We're about to find out. Back underway. Second attempt at overtime. Oh, we're already checking out. We're going to be four wide. Falkingham going around that high side. Jay Weaver stuck at a line already. Can they make it back, or will we go to a third attempt? They're snaking. Oh, we're going to a third there attempt. There goes the it. Hunter East around. Falkingham into the outside wall. Third and final attempt. At Rod Carr overtime to determine the 10 playoff drivers. Roth gets to finish one lap down, so yeah, unfortunate for him. That really, they just, I was gonna say, the whole outside line is just snaking back and forth. I mean, look at look look at how they work turn two here. It's just <laughs> up and down, and there you go. If you're Dylan Dryling, you worry about the you know points penalties, depending on how many he's accumulated, if that is end up ruled on him. So here you are. There's the 24 getting pushed. Yeah, like how do you? I don't know. I don't know how you call that, but. It ends up the merchants getting turned. Hunter East, the huge loser in all of this. He goes from having a chance to you're probably done. It was a, it was exact, it was a serpentine. Hayes is pushing fogging him into the wall. Miniker, all involved. Uh, what number yellow is this? It is number so many. Nine? Is it actually? Do we really have nine cautions in a thirty eight lab race? I just went back to the first one. Oh. Just to double check, that was the, the confirmed caution. It was number one. This was the... the... So yeah. Yeah, nine cautions. Man. It doesn't feel like as many as the... Uh, the first race, though. It's starting to. Yeah. But we know that we are getting a restart, and we are racing back to the checkers no matter what. Well, Perry still desperate to fix damage out of a fast repair, but on pit road for over a minute at this point. Falkingham. Although locked in. Still trying to fix some damage. Good for Scott Warren, you're now 25th. Give yourself a fighting chance. Jay Riot, you gotta do what you gotta do, but Scott Warren's made of about 10 spots. Hunter East, Rough, Mo Perry, very rough. Falkingham, chillin'. Jacob Roth resigned to 35th, more than likely. Might steal 34th or 33rd. Milano and 
arrows out. Fuel actually might now be a concern, though. Which we didn't think it, it would be, but if you're Chris Hill, your playoff hopes potentially reside on you not running out of fuel. He put it at lap 17. And we're going to be pushing uh, about 30 laps by the end of the race on a tank of fuel. A lot of cautions since then. But he is, uh, he's, he's really risking it. He didn't pit a single time since then. Um, the only other person that would be close would be the 008. Michael Gould pitted on lap 18. Everybody else, 21. Oh, we also have Jacob Dunn on 18, but those are the only three that are a question. Everyone else, 21, 26, 30. So. Chris Hill has got to be a little concerned. He's shutting the car entirely off. But he still has enough to go into a burnout if he wins this thing, though. Yeah, you can see there, he's driving ahead of the pace car to let it coast. So he is really trying to, uh, to hang on here. But, of course, he's a wild card driver, so at this point, you can't pit to give up the track position in the overtime restart, so you're kind of locked into this strategy. Yeah, we're assuming with the yellows he should be good. But you just never know. If you if you, you just you just don't know. The yellow is a suggestion. Talking about for this, you know, restart. What do you mean? When the yellow inevitably comes out because these guys can't finish oh, the one lap, oh. it will be a suggestion. Right. People, they uh, <laughs> Gary Weaver in race chat. Ah, uh, uh, uh. yeah. So, if you're new here, just tuning in, third attempt at Rodica overtime, three of three. We race back to the checkered flag, no matter what. Caution comes out, all penalties will be cleared, and finish will be reviewed manually. Um, they will finish under green flag conditions. They give it to the white, it doesn't matter, anyways. But here we go Parker White, Chris Hill, front row, Cozy, Zelinsky, Gould. Stoff, Dryling, Kem, Spencer, Brown, your top 10. Final restart is underway. Outside line formed up quite nice. Dylan Kem's going to have to make moves. Got Travis Brown for company 81. There goes Dylan oh. Dryling. If you've got to hang on to it. To save his playoff hopes, Demerchin. He's still fighting it. Dem He's still fighting. Demerchin also been out of shape. He's down to 28th. Disastrous for him as well. We'll wait and see how it all plays oh, out. And there goes everybody. Cozy around. Potential huge implications. It's the whole back half of the field. Everybody about 20th on back involved. We stay green, yellow is out, it does not matter. Travis Brown, big block in front of Gary. It does not matter, white flag. Parker White, Chris Hill. Chris Hill, I'm sure more than content to stay in the draft and try and save fuel. But here comes Zelinski, Minter, and Kem trying to close. Kem making a move though, needs every possible spot. Down the back. Parker White, Chris Hill, Zelinski now in the draft, seven tenths and closing. <laughs> There's the pace car. It me. does not matter. Six tenths and closing from Zelinski. Minter all over the back, chasing them into turn number three. If Hill pulls out, they'll both get beat. They gotta push as much as they can, but here comes the momentum from the 118. All the momentum. There's Scott Warren parked. It's over. Parker White and Hill blows up! He's going to blow up, and Parker White gets it done. <laughs> Zelinski and Minter. Cozy might be out in 30th. Scott Warren out in 33rd. Jay Riot more than likely out in 25th. Deburchant, a question mark in 22nd. Hunter East 
probably out in 19th. Dryling, probably out in 15th. Hill in for sure. We'll wait on scoring. But Parker White, an average finish here tonight of 1.5. Very easily could have swept him. And let's take a look at that wild finish. Of course I don't pick Parker White. Or, you don't pick Parker White, he wins. Should have just... Mm. I didn't want to pick the same person twice. But yeah, Hill, the MVP, the assist. <laughs> you can see him fighting for air on the nose, just back and forth, trying to get him to the finish. And it blew up on him. Zelensky gave him the shot and... Ends up second, Minter, average finish, second. Coke Series driver sweep the podium. Again, 12 for 12 on the season. And let's take a look at the wreck that changed everything. If you're cozy, you go from 3rd to 30th, just absolutely no help. And it's the 008. It looks like that kicks this all off. He goes up to block Spencer. Keeps going into the 77, then Spencer gets into him. And he's just going to straight hook Cozy. And it's off from there. Into Jacob Dunn. Do set. Track's completely blocked. Car's up in the air. And unofficial points. Rod already got him. The 10 moving on. Parker White. Tucker Minter, Bobby Zelinsky, Daniel Falkingham, Michael P. Frisch, those are the five that advanced. We take five from the wild card, and those drivers are Chris Hill, Tyler Gary, Seth DeMerchant, Michael Cozy Jr. still makes it. Hunter East, 10th and final transfer spot by a point over Dylan Kem. Two points over Dylan Dryling. Jay Riot, Scott Warren, Mo Perry also out. Subject to penalty review, like Rod just said. But the five advancing Chris Hill, Tyler Gary, Seth the Merchant, Michael Cozy Jr., Hunter East. And Hunter East, the non Coke Series representative. Got a 10% shot, though. One of 10. Dylan Kem misses by a point. The transfer limit was 1,043. Dylan Kem had 1,042. Dryling at 41. Jay Riot at 39. Scott Warren, 1,033. Mo Perry, 1,026. Let's take another look at the finish one more time. Once the wreck had happened and they all broke away. They all wreck. And then a Travis Brown block. <laughs> kind of gets the back half of this split up all the way down. I mean, he just completely chops Gary's nose off. And that kind of... Uh, I mean, that, that kills everybody else. He ends up fourth, though, so it was a good move. Um, and it's a five-car breakaway at that point. Dylan Kem making this move probably is the reason why none of those cars in that group won. If he stays in line, they catch them quicker, especially knowing that in hindsight that Hill blows up. They eventually get reformed. That actually a little bit there's the pace car again. I don't know if Ken had damage, though, and he was just trying to hang on. Ends up, doesn't get the draft anyways. So he's desperate at that point. 
Yeah, they all just kind of broken up and here's your finish again. Bam. I still can't believe he blew up. He made it though. Didn't run out of fuel. He blew up though. Which is just crazy. But that is the tentative points. You know. Peters, and Ron just put it in the Discord. Wildcard tends to be Chris Hill, Gary, DeMerchant, Cozy, and Hunter Peace pending review. Let's go ahead and get your uh, podium drivers in here. Here with your race winner, Parker White, tonight, an average finish of 1.5. Um, not a bad night, not a bad week for you uh, at all. Yeah, I mean, two different races I said on the last lap that there's no way I win this because uh, there, there's all those cars all around me. But I got lucky kind of there in the last lap because it uh, looked like DK hung Tucker there in the last lap, and that just gave uh, gave Chris an opportunity to pull away. So I was very surprised that Chris's motor was able to hang on for that long. Like I thought, he, like I'm sure he was already like redlining into turn three. So uh, out of four, I was just trying to block as much as I could, and then eventually he blew up, and they just didn't have enough of a run to get back. But uh, the, there's two different points in this race where uh, I got damage where the car itself was not damaged at all but apparently i had 30 seconds of required and like three minutes of optional and i guess it was all like wheel damage and uh, i think i ended the race with like two minutes of optional but the car was still fine so uh yeah definitely weird damage but either way like you said the second and a first in one night definitely not bad so you got all the momentum in your corner headed to uh the playoff round and uh two races there daytona talladega and uh, we'll see what happens Yep, I'll see you then. Absolutely. Congratulations again. Thank you. Here with your runner-up tonight, Bobby Zelinski, and uh, just needed a... I know the start-finish line's not in the middle of the trial, but you needed it to be just a little bit further. You and, uh, and Minter were hard-charging there, trying to catch Hill and uh, Parker White, but uh, with a solid finish here for the for the 18 machine. Yeah, that was a wild turn of events there. You know, I was trying to help out Chris a bit just because I was. I, we always work really well together, but somehow bump draft like amazingly well. Um, then we got it was just me and Tucker there at the end chasing him down, and I'm I was sitting there. I'm like, that damn Toyota engine's strong, <laughs> man. I think he's still pushing the yeah. 2011 finish here at Talladega, but uh, he blew up, and I think if I was able to turn down like instantly, I might have just like left reared Chris anyway, or gotten disconnected from tucker and got side drafted by chris like i don't know if i would uh, had enough momentum to get to parker because there was not that much time left but um so i just squared up and clobbered chris <laughs> and you know i think that was the safer option for for everybody involved but uh i yeah i, I think even if i miss chris there i don't have tucker pushing me and i don't know if i have enough time to get to parker because he'll probably he had a pretty good window to throw a block so uh yeah we got second though pretty cool yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, obviously, you were already locked in, so the tonight's racer just purely go out there and try to win. Came up just a bit short. Um, nine out of the ten playoff drivers are Coke Series regulars, uh, so it's going to be an absolutely insane two weeks. Uh, you yourself, one of the uh, only th uh, one of three multi-time winners, so uh, a lot of success and uh, two weeks to, to get out there and get yourself locked into the final five. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll go and give it a go, and uh, yeah, we've we've had a pretty good year this year. I think I this is like me or Parker, or, or no, it was me or Tucker has like the best average finish. Um, so we're just we're not staying out of trouble, but thankfully we have <laughs> resets, um, and that usually you know gives me that chance to come back. I had a little bit of nose damage all race, didn't really mess me up, but uh, they actually use my reset in this one, so. Yeah, it was uh, cool. Me and Parker won two, like every other series you run in on the last <laughs> lap. So. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of excitement for this week for the both of you on the final laps for sure. But uh, yeah, yeah, we we like using the bumper here. We like using the bumper. <laughs> it's absolutely. a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, yeah, you guys, uh, Rod Car taught you everything you know. You guys compete on the. the oh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> but uh, congratulations, and uh, we'll see you next week for the playoffs. Appreciate it. Here with Tucker Minner, and uh, we'll still call it uh, Tucker Dega. Four out of six, uh, not too shabby. Another podium. Uh, I think he had another podium in the, the other race that Cozy ended up winning anyways. Uh, and, yeah, you and Zelinski just trying to be chasing on that last lap and uh, almost got there. 
just uh, with all the chaos in last lap, couldn't quite get organized in time. Yeah, I mean, I was I was kind of fortunate to be there. You know, we this race wasn't as smooth as the last one. I was caught up in a lot of wrecks, um, just with people not taking pushes and stuff like that. And I just didn't have anywhere to go a couple times with the ARCA break. So, um, you know, restarting ninth on the or eleventh on the last green white checker, and then the guy in front of me getting hooked and overcorrecting back up the racetrack. I had just enough space to get up in front of Gary and then. Luckily, Gary was right there and Bobby was right in front of me, so uh, we were able to get pushing really good. And then, um, you know, they kind of Parker and Chris were able to draft away a little bit, and then ZK was able to push me back towards Bobby, and uh, we lost a little bit of time right there. Um, you know, I think just DK didn't want to didn't want to lose kind of the momentum lifting, um, and so that ended up hurting us a little bit, but. Um, it would have been hard to catch Chris and Parker and be in the right spot anyway, you know, if Chris hadn't blown up. So and once Chris blow, blew up, I had I had no idea that it happened until Bobby and I were recording. So still a good uh, still a good result for us tonight. Absolutely, and uh, got a lot of momentum on your side as we head into the two week playoffs starting next week. Um, nine out of the ten are Coke Series drivers. You're all very familiar. Um, Gen Six been a blast, so it's really going to be. Uh, the best of the best for two weeks to set the championship five and uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, it should be fun. I think I'm just below the uh, penalty threshold right now. So hopefully I don't get that to start the playoffs. I don't. I think I only might get blamed for one. So I'm looking forward to the playoffs. It should be fun. It's the first time I've really been in contention for a ride car championship. So hopefully we can, uh, we can finish the deal for this one. Absolutely. Well, congratulations again, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. All right, it's 11.56 here on the Eastern Seaboard. Uh, great to be back for Friday Night Rod Car. Uh, congratulations to the 10 drivers uh, that we mentioned. Uh, they'll duke it out, some of the best of the best. I'm just rooting for Hunter East for the upset of the like lifetime. Like That would just be so funny. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, get the playoffs started next Friday night. Um, they head to Daytona and then Talladega. And then back to Daytona for the finale. So a lot of exciting stuff uh, coming up. Be sure to tune in Friday night, 9 o'clock. And we'll see you next week. Take care.